cook. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world! Woo! I've got the wiggles today. Do you ever get the wiggles? It starts in my fingertips and then it works all over my body. Way! Ho ho! Hey, Small! I've got the wiggles! Would you like to join me in a wiggle around the cafe? <laughs> Hello, everyone! That's a great idea, Ben. I'm great at wiggling. Okay, then, Small, we'll start by having a big wiggle right here. You join in too. Come on then. One, two, three, let's wiggle away. Oh, I'm a wiggling and nothing's gonna stop me. It feels so good. Woohoo! Small, why aren't you wiggling? I can't. What do you mean you can't? Everyone can wiggle. You're just not trying hard enough. Come on, start by putting your arms out like this. Okay. And then give your fingertips a big old wiggle. Woohoo! I can't. I just can't. I've lost my wiggle. Oh, well, maybe you're poorly. Have you got a headache or a tummy ache? Anything like that? I feel fine, Ben. I've just lost my wiggle. Don't worry, Small. We'll get your wiggle back. But it sounds like we've got a customer. Better go and see who it is. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Woo! Who's in our cafe today, Small? She's a lady that loves animals. Oh, loves animals, you say? Give us another clue. She makes animals better when they're poorly. Oh, I know. It's Vera the vet. Yes, Ben, Vera the vet. Now, what would a hungry vet like to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. <laughs> We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was strolling in the park when I met a very friendly dog. He dropped his ball at my feet. Hello, my name's Dog. He said, Can you see anything unusual about me? I don't think so, I replied. Well, the truth is, I've lost my wag, said Dog. Look how droopy my tail is. It just won't wag, no matter what I do. I looked at his tail, and it did look very droopy. Come on, I said. I'll take you to visit my friend the vet. When we arrived at the vet's surgery, the waiting room was very crowded. We met a sick parrot that kept squawking, Poor Polly! Poor Polly! A cat with a bandaged paw. Meow! And a skinny snake that said I looked scrumptious. At last it was Dog's turn to see the vet. We went into a special room. Hello, my name's Vera, said the vet. I hear you've lost your wag. Now, Let's see, said Vera kindly. She took a close look at Dog's tail. It's as floppy as a piece of old lettuce, said Vera. I have just the thing to fix it. She went to her cupboard and brought out a little box. On the front of the box it said, Wag biscuits. <laughs> Take four of these wag biscuits a day, said Vera. We thanked her and left. When we were back in the park, Dog tried one of his wag biscuits. It tasted delicious. Then suddenly, Dog spotted a doggy friend. Woof woof, that's Boomer, he barked. And guess what? His tail began to wag. Those wag biscuits really work, yapped Dog. Thank you for taking me to see Vera the vet, Small. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. 
Oh, well done, Small. You took Dog to see Vera the vet and she managed to get her work back. Oh. Way! What a hero, little cook. Now, what can we cook for a hungry vet, I wonder? That's a good question, Ben. Ooh. Oh! I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, let's see. Aha! I found the perfect recipe for Vera. A pita bread dog. It looks a bit like the dog in your story, Small. Oh, brilliant! OK, then, little cook, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. I think I might wiggle as well. Woohoo! OK, let's see. We're going to need a green pepper. Green pepper, over we go. Here we are. Green pepper, yep. Got it, Small. A red pepper. Ooh, a red pepper as well. Let's get that. Got the red pepper. Onion. Onion, here we go. Got the onions, yep. Fresh mint. Ooh, a fresh mint. Ooh, hoo -hoo. here we go. In the fridge, fresh mint. Ooh, it smells delicious. Woo! Ben, can you stop wiggling, please? It just reminds me that I've lost my wiggle. Ooh, sorry, Small. I forgot. OK, lamb steak. Lamb steak, here we are. Got the lamb steak, yep. Natural yoghurt. In the fridge as well. Natural yoghurt, got it. Pitter pouches. Oh, pitter pouches. <laughs> Sounds a bit like a tongue twister, that, doesn't it? Pitter pouches, pitter pouches, pitter pouches. <laughs> Here we go, got those small. Oil. Oil in the cupboard as well, got the oil. And black olives for decoration. Ooh. Here we go, black olives. There we are, brilliant. Everything we need for the recipe. Small, I was just wondering, where do olives come from? I don't know. Well, why don't you whiz off and find out, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? <laughs> go, Small, go, Small, whiz away. I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in the right place here. Olives grow on trees in hot countries. This man is going to marinate some olives. First he adds some chopped up herbs. Now some chopped up garlic. And finally, he pours on some oil. Time for the fun bit. He mixes it all up. Mix, mix, mix. Woohoo! The olives have been marinated. Olives can be stuffed like these or marinated with oils and herbs. These boys and their mum are going to buy some olives. Which ones will they buy? Some black ones. And some green ones too. They look really tasty. That was fun. See you later. I thought I'd do a few wiggles just before Small gets back. <laughs> Way! I'm back! I found out that olives grow on trees in hot countries, and you can get green ones and black ones. Oh, I didn't know olives grew on trees. Let's get started on the pita bread dog. I'm sure Vera's tummy will be rumbling. <laughs> We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have
have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to pitter bread dog? You do. There was a green pepper, half chopped. A red pepper, half chopped, half in circles. An onion, one chopped. Fresh mint, five leaves chopped. Lamb steak, one cubed. Natural yogurt, two tablespoons. Pitta pouches, two. Oil, one tablespoon. And black olives, six. Whoopee! Let's get started! I've put the yoghurt into a bowl and I'm going to add the mint and give it a good old stir. Woohoo! Yeah! Wee! Be careful, Ben! Oh! <laughs> I've been splatted and we've only just started! Whoopee! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, small! <laughs> I'd better go and get myself cleaned up. <laughs> I think I'll just have a quick wiggle while I've got the chance. Ooh. Oh, that's better. Right, now, put the yoghurty mixture in the fridge so it stays nice and cool. There we go. I've put some oil in a pan and I'm going to add the lamb and fry it until it's cooked right through. Now, if you don't like lamb, you could always use vegetables. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job and the hob is hot, hot, hot. I think I'll just have a quick wiggle. Ben? Ben? Oh, sorry, small. I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> Go ahead, Ben. Don't let me spoil your fun. <laughs> no, it's fine. I've wiggled enough now. Right, the lamb's cooked, so I'm going to add the green pepper, the chopped slices of red pepper, and the onions. And I'm going to cook them until they're nice and soft. <laughs> This is cooked now, so I'm going to turn off the heat and pop it over there. And now, Small, I'm going to try and trick your wiggle into coming back. Oh, how are you going to do that? Right, well, I'm going to do some moves and you copy me, OK? OK. Right, you can all join in too. OK, here we go. Jump up high. Wink one eye. Stamp your feet. Do a froggy leap. Show me all your teeth. Now wiggle. Woo! Oh, I can't, Ben. But thanks for trying to help me, though. How's the recipe going along? Great, Small. Ask your grown-up helper to put the two pita bread pouches in the toaster and lightly toast them. I like it when the toaster pops up. Do you, Ben? Oh, yes, Small. Hey, I've just thought of another tongue twister. Pitter pouches popping up. <laughs> See if you can say it really fast. Pitter pouches popping up. Pitter pouches popping up. Pitter pouches popping up. Pitter pouches popping up. Oh, whoopee! They're ready! When they've cooled a little, cut a hole in the bottom of one of the pitter breads, like this, using a blunt table knife. There we are. To make a little pouch. Like that. Isn't that clever? <laughs> OK. And I've already cut the top and bottom off the other pit of bread. Like this. These bits are going to be the dog's ears. So now we're just about ready to spoon in some of the yummy, scrummy, lammy mixture. Ho-ho! <laughs> in it goes. Open up the pouch 
and pop it inside. There we go. Mmm, it smells delicious. Now sprinkle in the olives. Here we are. In they go. All except for one. And now it's time to pop in some of the yummy yogurty mixture. There we are. Oh, this looks very tasty. In it goes. And now we can decorate it. Now I need to pop it onto a plate for this bit. So I'm going to pop it on there. Like that. And then I'm going to put on the dog's ears. Like that. Hey! <laughs> and now with the other olive, I've cut it in half. And I can put on one, two eyes. And then a piece of red pepper like this one is perfect for the nose. And finally, for the finishing touch, I'm going to pop in our dog's tongue. And there it is, a bit of bread dog. Scrummy! Quick, Ben, let's give it to Vera straight away. OK, then. One pita bread dog coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our jobs. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes, Maul! It looks like Vera the Vet enjoyed her pita bread dog. Look, she's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for the scrumptious pita bread dog. I hear that Small has lost his wiggle. It reminded me of the dog who lost his wag. I think I can help. Try these wiggle biscuits. These ones are just for humans. From Vera the Vet. Wow! There you go, Small. Thanks, Ben. Mmm! Delicious! Ooh! Look at me! I've got my wiggle back, Ben! <laughs> I'm going to keep on wiggling until I see you again. Ho oh ho! Now we can wiggle together! Way! See you soon! See you soon! Woohoo! Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly! Woo Big cook, little cook. Telling the clangers they must make a space rocket and fly away to that distant golden planet.